Acetylcholine is one of the most important neurotransmitters in the body, and there's evidence that we may be getting closer to having drugs that work on acetylcholine systems that are helpful for ADHD. So in the body, acetylcholine is the receptor that's involved in the neuromuscular junction. So when a nerve sends a signal to a muscle to contract, that's using acetylcholine. It's also the primary neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system. That's the rest and digest system that resets you and rebalances you after your sympathetic nervous system jacks you up. There's also compelling evidence that acetylcholine is an important neurotransmitter in the prefrontal cortex, where it's involved in attentional processes, reward processes, memory processes, emotional regulation processes. And given that many of these are central or connected to ADHD, it makes sense that messing with acetylcholine may be helpful for ADHD. So far, the best-known acetylcholine-acting drug that works with ADHD is nicotine. And there are a small number of studies, a lot of anecdotal evidence and a little bit of experimental evidence that nicotine can be useful in ADHD, receptor for the acetylcholine system. So there are other drugs working on the nicotine acetylcholine receptor that were under investigation a decade ago. Several of them were clearly beneficial for ADHD symptoms. None of them were brought to market. Why there's lots of attention right now is there's a brand new drug for schizophrenia, the first major non-dopamine blocking drug combination of two acetylcholine acting drugs, which is effectively boosting acetylcholine in the brain and clearly helps not just with the delusions and hallucinations of schizophrenia, but helps with some of the passivity, some of the executive function deficits, some of the cognitive attentional deficits that are found in schizophrenia. There's ongoing research to see if this or similar drugs may be helpful for ADHD.